Is your PC capable to run FS2020 with good settings? How will the performance be on low budget devices? And how do I find out if my PC is going to make it? All those questions will be answered, so watch this video till the end to get an idea of your future with FS2020. The answer to the first question is fairly easy. If you've played x 11 on your system and you've got stable FPS on whatever settings, you could be sure you will have better graphics on settings with the same amount of FPS on FS2020. As it is, way more advanced and way better optimized. If you don't have x 11, simply download the free demo and try it out. Set these settings as high as you can, except of the reflection detail, but try to say above 24 FPS. When you got this set up, look around and take a look at the detail your surroundings have. If that already looks great, you can be sure FS2020 will look way more realistic. But if you're not even able to reach 24 FPS with whatever settings, without having the game look like Flight Simulator 2002, you should start to think about an upgrade for your PC. But to be capable of playing the game on the highest possible settings, you will still need a little more performance than for x 11 as the game got way better textures and a way higher resolution. You should also keep in mind that if you're a broadcaster in any way like streaming on YouTube or on Twitch, you also need a good CPU to stream the game in good quality and without any big leaks or any performance losses. Because as most of you know, streaming is very heavily affecting the CPU performance and that's why you should get a newer generation, high quality and high performance processor like Ryzen 7 2700, Ryzen 5 3600 or 2600, or an i7 from generation 6 to 9 or 10 even if you get the money, or an i5 with a modern generation like generation 8 or generation 10. As most of you already know, Microsoft also released their recommended and ideal and also minimum specifications about a few weeks ago. You can see all those specifications right now on the display and we'll also read out some of the give given advices about the performance. To at least play the game in any way, so the minimum specs you need as lead at least a graphics card with 2GB of VRAM, so video RAM, 8GB of RAM and a 150GB storage place. That is for all specifications, so you don't really need more than 150 gigabytes if you don't have any add-ons or any sceneries downloaded from the server. For the recommended, you should at least have 4 gigabytes of VRAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and as Microsoft says, at least a Ryzen 5 from the first generation or an Intel i5 from the eighth generation. And for the ideal specs to play the game on the highest settings with good FPS, you should at least have 8 gigabytes of video RAM. 32GB of RAM, which is really a lot, and you also need 150GB of storage on recommended and SSD. Also, you will need a processor like a Ryzen 7 from the 2nd generation, or an Intel i9, or an Intel i7 from the 9th generation, which I think is maybe a little bit too much, an i7 7700K, which is really popular, would probably also be enough. Also very important to play the game with really good quality is your bandwidth of your internet connection. As a minimum you should add at least 5 megabytes per second, which is really not that much, but I know from my own experience that some places still don't have that. Recommended are 20 megabytes per second, which is kind of the average I'd say, and the ideal would be 50 megabytes per second, which is still kind of a lot, but also not too much. So thanks for watching this short video again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope we'll see us in the next video.